Afternoon, brothers and sisters, in case you're watching it in the afternoon, 25th of June. Uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your understanding. I know many of you are waiting for the final details about the return on the 5th of July and the 12th. I'll get to that in a moment. A couple of things to know right up front on this day. Uh, we have a Q&A this Sunday night, 5 p.m. Uh, on the panel. It'll be Shane, myself, uh, Joe Brian, who looks after our life groups, and Josh and Ruth to talk about our youth ministry. And so if you have any questions, please let us know that. Again, normal process. Connect at myfac.org.au. Love to hear from you. Probably a chance on the night as well to send in questions that we can wrestle with. So that's happening this Sunday night, 28th of June, 5 p.m. Uh, secondly, uh, Langdon has started the Christianity Explored course, started last Tuesday. It's not too late to get connected. It's a great course. It's a great way to learn, to ask your questions. And maybe you have someone in your friendship group or your family who'd love to do it. Let them know about it. Register. It's easy to do. Go again to the same uh, email address and uh, let us know. Let Langdon know you'd like to do that and that'll be very encouraging. Number of things, services. Let's get straight to it. 5th of July, yes. We are starting 10 o'clock and 5 o'clock on the 5th, 10 o'clock and 5 o'clock on the 12th. By the time you watch this video this afternoon, you can go to our website and register to come on one of those days. Right up front, I'm asking you to register for one only. It could be that as we move beyond the 5th of July and get closer to the 12th, that there's still space, but I'd ask you not to do that until we're there. So at this stage, just register for one. You know it's a trial. We're experimenting. All the details are on the website about what you can do, what's required, and so do that. You go to the website, go to the services tab. On that, you'll specifically see uh, online or on-site. Be very clear, register for the on-site if you want to come here physically. Can I put a plug in directly? We haven't met for a long time. If you're going to register to come to one of those services, can I lean into the camera really closely and say, be here on time. It's taken a lot of work to get to this point in time. Uh, you know we can't sing, there's a number of restrictions, but it's gonna help everyone, especially in terms of registration and all the things we have to do for you to arrive can I even say before the service starts? Thank you so much. I know you're keen. Do that. Go online. Register. For those who, uh, for the 10 o'clock, there's also a kids ministry activity happening connected with the 10 o'clock service. You need to register your kids as well. There's for children between the age of a kindergarten to year five. Go online. Again, put your details down there. And we'll do the rest when you turn up. Now, two things. Uh, in regards to the reason behind five o'clock, it does mean that our young people can actually go out and hook up and go to a restaurant or a cafe after that to gather to keep some face-to-face -face, uh, conversations happening. So I'm sure if you're connected to, say, the Regen community, they'll tell you more about that over the coming weeks, either through Facebook or Instagram. They'll let you know what's happening. For 10 o'clock families, even those watching online, after both services on the 5th and the 12th, we're inviting you to come to the Botanic Gardens to have a picnic with us so we can engage as well. So while we can't do it on site, you can come along to the Botanic Gardens. You don't have to register for that. Just turn up, uh, bring some food, bring your smiles, bring your, your joy, bring your Christian spirit uh, and engage. Now where they're gonna meet, uh, Joe's given me some information for the gathering for the BYO picnic. Uh, it's going to be on the grass west of the playground. Uh, west of the playground so be there straight after that service uh, it'll be a great chance to see each other and to connect and to catch up uh, very much looking forward to it great which leads me to the song today uh, one of my favorites uh, even our young people know it 10,000 reasons by Matt Redman it's a great song it's a great song to sing to praise God with what's the history behind it it's a fairly recent song in fact I think it's been number one for quite a while now I know our young people uh, love leading it and singing and playing it uh, Reverend writes about the song, certainly the 10,000 number. He reflects on that same number in Amazing Grace and he sort of used that in that sense. But for him, he was reflecting on the words of Psalm 103. Psalm 103, we read, Praise the Lord my soul, all my inmost being, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord my soul and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins, 
heals all your diseases, redeems your life from the pit, crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desire with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. He kept reading that and felt it gave him, and he said it didn't take too long to write the song, which is different to other songs. It gave him the impetus to actually think about the number of reasons, the unlimited number of reasons you have to give thanks to God. He goes on to say, if you wake up one morning and you cannot think of a reason to bring God some kind of offering of thanks or praise, then you can be sure there's something wrong at the end of the pipeline and it's not his. There's so many things to be thankful to God for in this season, in every season and every day. So sing that song, rejoice, uh, praise his name even as we gather together. Brothers and sisters, I very much look forward to seeing you soon. It's going to be, I think, a new experience and a fresh experience, but I can't wait to see you all. Take care. God bless. Catch up soon.